Hey everybody, we're back with another episode of How to Play Mind Test, and we had a really good build day the other day. Um, so I'm going to turn 90 degrees here, and I think you'll realize why we had a really good build day. Um, my sons and I just really buckled down, focused on the Quidditch pitch, and it's looking really good. So we're going to hop into free move uh, here, so we can come up and show you. Oh, that's slow. Fast move. There we go. Alright, so. <clears throat> Coming to the train station here, which we still haven't finished building. Come up here, and then you go in this way to the Quidditch pitch. And, um. Let's see here. There we go. So, um. They don't give a whole lot of detail in the books about what the Quidditch pitch looks like, other than it's an oval about the size of a soccer field. Um, there's changing rooms and there's grandstands that are high up in the air so people can see what's going on. So in my mind there are four houses so there should be four grandstands and at the base of each grandstand is the changing rooms which is what these rooms are here. Um, ooh, kill the fast move now. So uh, we haven't got the benches or the lockers in here yet but um, that's kind of what I have imagined here. So one for Gryffindor, one for Slytherin, one for Hufflepuff, blah blah blah. And then uh, your team. Apparently we need to disable free move too. Uh, your house, when they want to come and watch you play, come up here. And they can sit on these seats right here. I'm tempted to make the floor a different color so the benches stand out a little bit better. But you sit right here and you can watch the Quidditch game. So, very cool. And we actually looked up, these are pretty close to regulation height uh, goals on each end. And then we have the chest down there that will put uh, the correct colored lumps of, uh, like a lump of coal for the bludgers and uh, some red wool for the quaffle. And I'm not sure what we're going to do about the golden snitch. <coughs> Hello, thank you for the wool. Um, so probably down the center here we will do uh, a continued path as kind of the center line to the stadium where everybody circles around and takes off from. So you can see the nice high goal posts there. So some of the teams will come over here. This is actually one of the original uh, measuring blocks that I put around the outside of this. I'll go in here, another one. Let's see more of the measuring blocks so those will be going away now that we've got the stadium in place and we also need to harvest this back a little bit so that we can do the stairs to get up on top of uh, these other grandstands here so fly up here so you can see so what it looks like before we get the benches and then the posts in the back I want to put the correct colors for the house flag on each of those so that way you can see which grandstand is which um, that's one thing we're going to have to sit down and, and decide um, is each house what the colors are and um, how we want their flag to be displayed. But anyway, not a bad build day. We got a lot of this done uh, in one day. My sons worked on the lower wall around the outside and then um, when I was able to finish up whatever I was working on, came in and worked on the goalposts and the grandstands and everything. <clears throat> In the movie, it shows them a lot taller than this, but looking at how high the uh, goalposts are, this is about right to see what's going on as they go back and forth like that. <clears throat> and again, the entire castle is half scale, quote unquote. Um, I'm trying to remember if we made this half scale or if it's full scale. Is that like 100 blocks? Probably not. Yeah, it's probably 50, so I'm guessing that's half scale. It's probably 50 long and 25 wide. But, yeah, not too bad. So, that's what we've been working on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Whoops. Re-enable free move. I can't get down. There's no stairs yet. So, we'll be finishing these off uh, pretty soon here. And, like I said, we'll get the correct house colors. So, um, you can tell whose grandstand is whose. I've got to finish those off. And uh, 
I'm still trying to decide if we're gonna try and get enough people logged on here to actually try playing a game. If we do, I will definitely record it. Uh, I haven't quite made that decision yet. When we got to this grandstand over here, we realized uh, that's actually inside our house. So uh, the door used to be right there, right on that corner. So we had to uh, make a little jog here, and we will be moving the workshop pretty quick. Um, probably into Gryffindor Tower. I'm not sure quite yet where we're going to go. Um, I did start reading uh, Harry Potter number two, Chamber of Secrets, and there's more things we've got to change. They're getting more detail as we read through things. The Great Hall actually extends right out here because Ron runs up to the window and watches uh, Jenny getting sorted, so we'll be making some changes there as well. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let people know uh, about the series and about my uh, videos, other people you think might be interested, even just in the Hogwarts ones or in mind test in general. Uh, we will talk, catch you guys next time, and until then, go build something.